so, hey, we're doing a party and we have a lot of people coming over. My kitchen is small. What can I make? How do I take, you know, 50, 60 people and cook different items? So what we're gonna do today is mix and match a lot of the ingredients to come up and make some different things for you, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is start with an Italian sausage and pepper and onion sandwich. This is real popular. Anybody ever been to uh, Little Italy in New York? Yeah. You ever go down to the festival in September to Big San Gennaro on Mulberry Street, right? You see the sausage and peppers everywhere. So this is it, okay? Let me get this cracking. Watch out, it's hot. You want to start out with a little bell pepper? Get rid of the seeds. Nice thin strips. It's a pretty quick dish to make. It's fast. A little olive oil. Or a lot of olive oil. I don't know what they're like. I like to put green, red, and when I could find yellow, I throw the yellow in there too. You know why? Why? It's the colors of the Italian flag. <laughs> And you know, one of the things I do, I name my food. What we're making today is the Robert De Niro. Because when you bite into it, you want to say, you're talking to me? You're talking to me? <laughs> so this is the Robert De Niro right here. Chop up a little onion. Try not to cry. There was a time in my life when I saw a camera, I used to hide my face and run. But now I'm legit. <laughs> One of the things that I like to do, you're using olive oil, bell peppers, red and green, some onion. Once it's cooking really good, I like to throw in a little balsamic vinegar. A little bit in there. And let that cook. While that's cooking, Elizabeth, could you find me somebody in the audience who wants to come and help me? You're going to make that oil get nice and hot. All right, hold on to this right here. You want to put the sausage in the oil, right? Okay, do I have to wait for it to get hot? Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Don't you like your sausage hot? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a huge. I'm just following directions. I don't know, you tell me. You're the one who brought it up. Do you like sweet sausage or hot sausage? She likes hot sausage, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. All right. How you doing? You don't mind if she plays with my sausage here, do you? You're okay? All right, good. All right, so put that in there. I'm going to show you about the magic of television. Very gentle. All right, now sprinkle a little salt and pepper on it. Think about all the money you're going to save from eating out. Now she's going to learn how to cook and stay at home, right? <laughs> What's your name? Christine. Christine. Okay. How many? How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Doing? I like the way you do that. Oh, thank you. All right. So what you want to do is you want to brown it on both sides. But because we're dealing with pork sausage, we want to make sure that we finish it off in the oven. Okay? Come on over here, Elizabeth. Hang out with me. Isn't she beautiful? She can't cook, but she looks great. I mean, what the hell, right? <laughs> can you cook? I can cook. Last time you were throwing cheese everywhere. You wanted more cheese. I wanted to give you more cheese. All right, let's go. Let's get some bread on here so we can get some people going. You want to try that? You think you can flip it? Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> I bought this on Amazon, be careful. Alright, turn it over. Now I'm going to show you the magic of television. You know how simple this dish is? You can make this dish literally in 10 minutes. It's so quick to make. And one of the things that we're going to do, because we have the peppers and onions cooking here. I always save some to the side when I'm making my sausage. Do you know why? What? Because we have friends that don't eat sausage. They don't, they don't eat pork. So what we do is we make chicken. And we have chicken on the side. So now you just make two dishes with the same ingredients. Pretty quick, right? 
Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah? Are you? Yeah. You want to see something really cool? Yeah, of course. Alright. And watch the magic of television. Not only does it come out ready to go, but it comes out in a different pan. Isn't that beautiful? And there's more of them too. Right. Look at that, right? So now, here we go. You want to get these peppers a little soft. You don't want them too hard. Not like the sauce. You want them a little soft. Right? Okay. Here we go. Ready, Elizabeth? You want to find a good bread. Bread makes the whole sandwich, right? Here you go. Your turn. You can put one little sausage in there. Ready, Elizabeth? You got the peppers. Here we go. The little peppers and onions on top. Isn't that beautiful? Look how fast. There you go. Let's make a few more here. Look at that. Oh my God, I feel like the FBI. Hello, how are you? You're a husband? A boyfriend. Why don't you ask me? Right now, propose right now. Come on. Here you go. Have a little sausage. Here you go. Thank you. All right. There you go. You want to make one? Go ahead. Keep it going, girl. Yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't bite. What are you doing? What? Elizabeth, look what she's doing. What? She's grabbing one at a time. Get in there. Bam. Come on now. It's hard to catch. All right, let's make some more. Here you go, Bubba. Thank you. Isn't that wonderful? Who would you like to give this to? Uh, You're the boss. Would you like this? No. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you said no. Who said no? Me. He, he wants you, chicken. There's a special autographed picture just for you. Oh, thank you. Can you read to the audience what it says? It says, thanks for cooking my sausage. Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. It's a pleasure. All right. So that was pretty quick, huh? She did a great job, by the way. All right, so that's our first dish. You see how fast that was? Literally 10 minutes to make a sausage with pepper and onion sandwich. Out of this world. Done. There we go. So we're going to do two things now. We are making chicken breast with peppers and onion and we're also making what you guys would call a slider it's a grilled chicken with arugula and sun-dried tomatoes okay but I have a special name for that and I'll tell you when it's all done because you know I name my food right okay so we start out with our chicken breast a little butter Sizzle that up real good. And while that's going, we want to cut up some garlic. You guys see good fellas? Yeah. yeah. You see the part where Paulie says cut the garlic with a razor blade real thin? Yeah. Well, this ain't it. We want some nice chunks in there. Get some of that flavor going. A little olive oil. Alright, you want to get that going where it gets a little brown, a little salt and pepper? How's that sausage, man? Really good. You like that, huh? Yeah. On our next episode, we're actually going to my favorite hangouts in Brooklyn, New York. We're going to go to Fajico's where they have the best sausage, uh, Luigi Alva where they have the best cannolis. But here we go, ready? Come on over here, Elizabeth, let's get going. We're going to put the chicken breast in a little butter and olive oil, okay? Get that going, baby. You do a good job. You keep cooking like this, you're bound to find a husband. <laughs> there we go. Does that scare you? What? This. 
Well, find the husband's gear. Which one? <laughs> little belt. Okay, let's get this out of the way. A little salt, a little pepper. While that's cooking, let's get a plate with three of those little uh, rolls in there. I like to use fresh herbs, rosemary. It's very simple. Guys, girls, check it out, right? You just hold it and it slides right off. It'll soften up right in there so you don't have to worry about, oh my God, it's too hard, you know. And there you go. Some fresh arugula. That's what some of those horns you uh, okay. use. Okay. Like. Olive oil. <laughs> a little balsamic vinegar, just a drop. A little pepper. You want to mix that up real good? Leave that right there for a second. We're going to get back to that. You want to brown them for about three minutes on each side. Looks good, right? Come on over here. <laughs> and what is your name? Lauren. Lauren? Lauren. Okay, how you doing, Angela? <laughs> <laughs> My name, but we didn't have Lauren. We were like Angela, Stephanie, Joseph, Big Edge, Little Edge. Petey, repeaty, two peaty. You know those guys? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. So here's what you want to do. You want to start out with your little bread, right? And you want to be able to put a little bit of arugula on the bottom of each one. You're experienced. Do you cook at home? No. No. <laughs> All right, so you want to make sure that it's really cooked in and out, because we're all dealing with chicken here, right? Do you know why I'm asking all you wonderful people to come up here and help me cook? Because I don't want to get my shirt dirty. So if you don't mind, <laughs> so if you don't mind spinning it around a couple of times, okay? Yeah, I'm oh, you to throw that? <laughs> Lauren the Enforcer. <laughs> Very simple dishes. You can do this at home, get up from work at 6 o'clock, get it going, by 6.30 you got a meal. It's great. And it's stuff that you can find anywhere. You probably don't know who any of these guys are, do you? No. <laughs> $49, and she doesn't know who these people are. Frank Sinatra, D. Martin, Joey B. The Rat Pack. You never heard of the Rat Pack? The Rat Pack aren't exterminators, you know. This is like real guys here. My God. All right, so now, what you want to do, just take your little plate. There we go. Some sun-dried tomatoes on there, one on each one. Okay, you guys all know what balsamic vinegar is that we used earlier, right? Okay. If you take balsamic vinegar and put it in your frying pan a little bit and just boil it and let it reduce, it becomes like syrup. See that? In the fancy restaurants, they call that a glaze. My mother called it, I'll go boil this some balsamic vinegar. I said, okay, man, no problem. <laughs> Ready? And you put a little bit on here just like that. And you know what I call this dish? What? I call this the Al Pacino. <laughs> Do you know why I call it the Al Pacino? No, why? Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> there you go, lady. Look how fast that was. Thank you so much. But you know what? Let's give you a gift. You like vodka sauce? Yes. Here you go. This is the Wise Guy Kitchen vodka sauce. You can find this on our website, but this is free for you today. Thanks for helping out. <laughs> All right. Very good. You're watching the Wise Guy Kitchen. <laughs> parties people like something different something that it's not going to get us all dirty while we're walking around so I came up with a great dish it's called antipasto in a glass and I'll tell you how that works Pretty easy. it's probably one of the easiest things you can make this here is called bocconcini let me say bocconcini bocconcini let me say 
Good shit. There you go. <laughs> right, good for him. What that means in Italian is bite size. Bite size mozzarella. And it's not mozzarella, it's a mozzarella. Okay, you guys got that? Could you say mozzarella? Mozzarella. <laughs> Do me a favor, put them in the back. <laughs> I need somebody who can say mozzarella. Did you say mozzarella? Hey, she did it, give her a hand. So you're gonna start out with some bocconcini. Some little tomatoes. <laughs> so you wanna throw some tomatoes in here, right? And I'm going to save some of these tomatoes to show you what else we got going on. You want some roasted peppers. Now roasted peppers, you can either get the bell peppers and roast them yourself at home, or you can buy a nice imported jar of roasted peppers. They're pretty good. All right. Then you want to get some fresh basil, right? Pour a little olive oil in there, and don't go nuts. <laughs> Pour it, you're not doing shots at the club. Pour the olive oil. There you go, all right. A little salt and pepper. We're going to mix this up. And I do this when I have guests coming over the house as well. Put a little balsamic vinegar in here. If you notice that I'm using the same ingredients for all these different dishes. So it's one stop shopping, right? I call this the Lady Gaga. Because just like her, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. Right? All these different colors going on. Now here, this is a vegetarian version. But now, we're gonna go to our meat lovers and we get some imported supressata. And if I hear you say supressata, well, it's supressata, right? So this is important for Italy. What I do with this, cut nice thick chunks. Cut them in little squares. Add that. Elizabeth, give that a little turn. There you go. You having fun? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's keep it going. All right, who wants to try this? Right here. Okay. <laughs> you know what, maybe Elizabeth? Wow. For the kids as well? Yeah, go make some friends. <laughs> there you go. Pass it around. Yeah, everybody get a fork. In a matter of 15 minutes, we already made three different dishes. And we went shopping, and it was very easy. What did we change? We changed the pork sausage with the chicken. The arugula is the same. The peppers are the same. The onions are the same. So everything we're doing is the same because we always want to do things very quick, right? Because you never know when you got to run. <laughs> we want to make sure that we got things going on. All right? You notice how we put everything in that plate. But I talked to you earlier about people wanting to walk around at your party, which is very unique. So I take my little balsamic vinegar and I just pour a little drop on each one. It's kind of like a sundae. And this is a great dish for when uh, you're having a party in your house and people don't want to walk around with too much food. And this is the antipasto in a glass. It's pretty sexy, right? There you go, let's give a couple out. You want one? Yeah, there you go. How about you, Layla? That's great. Ciao. Thank you. Let me give you guys some forks. Here you go. So that's antipasto in a glass. What's really cool about that is that people could walk around in your home, just hold it. You're not getting all that barbecue sauce, chicken wings all over you. This is like the real stuff. So you hold it, you walk around, you have a great time with it. All right? So what I say at the end of this is, forget about it! 
this is an awesome meal, right? So now what we're going to do, there's always somebody that comes to your house and goes, I don't like chicken. I don't like pork. I don't like sunshine tomato. I don't like this. So you know what? We've got to be prepared. So here's what we're going to do. We're taking a little frying pan. We're going to cut up a little garlic. Watch this. Little olive oil in the pan. We want that garlic to brown on this one. This is a very simple dish. You can make this at night when you come home from work, literally in 10 minutes. One of the things that I do when I prepare for a party, like we did today, we cooked for probably 7,500 people, whatever it is, is that you could start in the morning or the day before. If you cut all your vegetables the day before, make sure you put them in a refrigerator with a paper towel, wet, so it stays nice, because you don't want it to go bad on you, okay? You can actually cook pasta, most restaurants We'll cook pasta in advance and then just boil it a little bit, a quick boil, when you go to order it. And the same thing with that, make sure it's covered, put a little olive oil in it so it doesn't stick. So right now we're making a little garlic with the olive oil and we're getting ready for uh, Elizabeth's favorite part because she likes playing with the parmesan. Is that right? That's right. All right, garlic. Come on over here, Elizabeth. You guys remember the arugula that we used before on the chicken, uh, on the Al Pacino's? I have a friend. Okay, we're gonna use that same arugula and we're just gonna cut it up a little bit. I made this for her, by the way, because she's one of those people that are around me that say, could you make me something that I'm doing? Am I right? I boiled a little tortellini just before the show started. Took about seven or eight minutes to boil. Cool it down, some olive oil so it doesn't stick. We're gonna take the tortellini now, we're gonna put it right here in the pan, okay? A little chicken stock. You ready to dump this in there? Yeah, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Have a ball. Look at her. All right. See the tomatoes that we used before? Now for the Lady Gaga. You want to save some of them? Cut them in half. There we go. Back up my uh, club in Brooklyn, we wanted to make dishes like this because they were fast, easy. We could cook them all in 15, 20 minutes and get right back to playing poker. So now that you got that going, you want to throw a little Parmesan Reggiano in there. Go ahead, have fun. She loves doing this. That's not enough. Stuff it in there, don't be afraid. No, don't go nuts. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What's really good about this dish, if you guys work and you come home, you know, from work about 5 30, 6 o'clock, you're in a hurry, you can actually have the pasta ready to go while you're showering, boom, done. It's a very, very quick dish. You can make this dish literally in seven or eight minutes. And it's really great if you have kids, it's healthy, it's, it's fast, it's colorful.
Tonalini, I'm a wise guy. There you go. All right, knock yourself out. Who wants to go make some friends? You do? You need all this by yourself? You can pass it around. You sure? All right, cool. All right, well, we had the Italian sausage with pepper and onion. We had the, we, we call the Robert De Niro. We had the Al Pacino. Say hello to my little friends, the little sliders with the grilled chicken, arugula, and sun-dried tomatoes. We made the Lady Gaga, which is the antipasto in a glass. Now we just made a tortellini dish. We did four dishes in what, 20 minutes, I would say? It's very, very quick because you're using the same ingredients, Mitch Bass, back and forth, having a great time with it. I heard somebody yell out, wow, come here, young lady, what's your name? Yeah, you. Come on over here, Lisa. Nice to meet you, Angela. How are you? Good. I'm good. Did you get to eat anything yet? Uh, All these people wouldn't give you a bite of food? Don't be afraid. Come on, don't be shy. I don't bite. See that handsome guy in here? Isn't that nice? All right. This is the Wise Guy Kitchen marinara sauce. Could you say marinara? She did that great, didn't she? Yeah! All right, here we go. Thank you. It's been a pleasure cooking for all of you. Thanks so much for coming to the Wise Guy Kitchen. See you next time. Thank you.